coming off 23 points in a win against West Virginia. It'll be Bryson Williams to jump for Texas Tech. David McCormick to jump for Kansas. And away we go here at Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas wins the tip. And it's Dewan Harris to control. This is one of the best offenses in the country against one of the best defenses in the country. Abaji off the mark to begin. Let's give you tonight's starting lineups are presented by Prudential. As you look at the Tech starting five, McCuller and Shannon back from injuries and healthy and playing well. And on the Kansas side, Abaji, the guy to look for, as Fran said, trying to become just the third Jayhawk under Bill Self to average more than 20 points a game. McCuller. And a rebound pulled down by Christian Brown, who does a little bit of everything, not just score. And if you're Kansas, you want to get out and run. Just like that. One of the areas where Abaji has really improved his three-point shooting. It's climbed and climbed 46%. His freshman year, he was 31%. And what I love about him, John, shooting it off the break. They only had seven fast break points in Lubbock against this defense. They have to run in this building. You see Shannon with Wilson on him. Little pull up. And Wilson pulls down the board. Kansas on the move. What you love about Kansas, they have multiple handlers on transition. McCormick banging down low. The double team comes. Round into the paint. Good feet for the Jalen Wilson said in Lubbock, we were punked, we were outworked. You know that's not going to happen tonight, but Texas Tech has got to match that intensity in this building. McCuller gets it over the half court stripe, gets it over to Williams. That's a travel and a turnover. Texas Tech with the departure of Chris Beard, his top lieutenant, Mark Adams, taking over at his alma mater now. First season as Texas Tech head coach, the reputation as one of the best defensive coaches out there. Yeah, he in the state of Texas, he's revered like a John Wooden would be nationally. That's how much respect people have for him in the state. 65 years old, finally getting his chance to coach at his alma mater. Kansas coming off a brilliant win where they scored the final nine in Manhattan to come back and beat K-State 78-75. The largest halftime deficit in program history as they were down by 16 at the break. Arms puts it in and Tech is on the board. Adonis Arms the juice. Well, I love this kid, man. Six years of college, four schools, keeps climbing the ladder. Out of Phoenix, Arizona, born in Milwaukee. Tough pass, John. McCuller, the lob. Shannon can't corral. Texas Tech will, will switch at all five positions. They neutralize the pick and roll game in Lubbock because those big guys can guard. Abaji. And a rebound pulled down by Marcus Santos Silva. The offensive end, John, they play without a point guard. Bryson Williams working on McCormick. And that one tipped out and nicely done as they retain possession. And McCormick the rebound. They need him to hit the boards. David McCormick coming off a 15 rebound performance. That is always an emphasis for Bill Self. McCormick and rebounding. They turn it over there. Texas Tech back the other way down three. Four post feeding so far by Kansas. Sloppy. Williams will try and hits and we're tied. John, don't forget this, this young man has gone over 20 and over 10 rebounds in two games versus Kansas last year at UTEP on January 8th in Lubbock. He is a Kansas killer so far. Yeah, 22 in the win uh, January 8th at home. 
Brown spots Harris cutting on the baseline. Yeah, that was arms fell asleep and a good cut by Dwan Harris. Breakdown defensively, nothing more than that. Adonis arms and out of bounds. It'll stay with Texas Tech. Great atmosphere. Quick start, Bill Self's team off to a two-point lead. Kansas, great help, keep it on the side, no middle. And this is a reason why, under Mark Adams and Chris Beard, and now Adams, they have been one of the best defensive teams in all college basketball the last six years. That bottom note on the left outscored Kansas in the paint, 44 to 18. 44, they're 75 points in the paint, so in close. Clarence Nadoli is checked in for Texas Tech. As Warren flips it up, he gets fouled. And they get the foul on Harris. So Davion Warren draws the foul. And that's what I was talking about, John. A six foot six guard like Warren on one end can guard centers. On the other end, can take Juan Harris into the post and post him up. And Warren, the transfer from. Hampton. He played two seasons at a junior college in Illinois, then two at Hampton, and now the Texas Tech. Wilson breaks the pressure himself. He might be their best passer, Taylor Wilson. He can rebound it, rip and go. And after a poor start shooting the basketball, he has really done a nice job knocking down three. Here's a bocce being harassed. No Shot clock under 10. Yeah, there it is, John. All right, a reminder, Super Tuesday, and we get a triple header for you. On uh, ESPN, it starts Michigan State and Illinois, 7 Eastern. Then number 12, Kentucky hosts Mississippi State. And finally, number three, Arizona taking on number seven, UCLA, in a Pac-12 matchup. It should be a great night of hoops. That's tomorrow night. Yep, and Kentucky's going to come in here Saturday night. You know, if it wasn't... Baji, shot clock violation. If it wasn't for a Kansas graduate, there would be no Kentucky basketball history because that gentleman by the name of Adolph Rupp was a student right here in Lawrence. Just a little history lesson, John. Yeah, no doubt. Bill Self a little frustrated with that last possession. Ends up with the heave from Abadji. Kansas with a one-point advantage. Harris. You see, McCullough is the de facto point guard. They basically play with small forwards, power forwards, and centers on offense. Color telling Santo Silva to get out of the way. And McCuller backing down, gets inside, had it knocked away. Too much traffic in there. He had the mismatch, but too many bodies. That's a center guarding a guard, John. Do you notice that? Santo Silva can guard any position on the floor. Adonis Arms checking back in, and here comes Remy Martin. The prize transfer from Arizona State. He actually was preseason Big 12 Player of the Year. Yeah. Now he's been dealing with a, a nagging knee injury, and now coming off the bench, he injured his right knee December 29th against Nevada, and here he is handling it. Very quick, and he can shoot. Probably not what uh, Self expected. Nice play inside. Good post up. Mitch Lightfoot seals off, gets the deuce. Kansas by three. And I think Remy's biggest issue on Saturday was just defending. Maybe it's the knee, but uh, he was really non-existent on one end of the floor. Santo Silva looking for some help. Loose ball. Shannon tracks it down. Shot clock at 10. Arms from Shannon. That one short. Wilson rebound. Jayhawks like to get it moving in transition. Here's Wilson. Got a piece of the paint kicked out to Brown. 
And that one rebounded by Warren. Every shot is contested. Again, that's why Kansas has to run. Got to get easy ones. Warren able to draw the foul. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Foul on Mitch Light. Let's watch Mitch work inside. Remember, they've turned it over Kansas three times, trying to post feed it. And that time, Mitch gets inside, and he's a career 56% score at the basket and he is in his sixth year his fifth as a super senior and uh, just a workman like guy Clarence and Adolni will check back in John is tech team has had eight different players start this year they have ten guys who played 12 minutes or more. So those injuries to McCullough and Shannon have actually paid off for them. Yep. Again, those back-to-back -back wins at home against Kansas and on the road against Baylor. They were under man. Here's Bart lightning quick and gets to the rim. Very nice. He went off the wrong foot also, which always throws a shot blocker off. That's nicely done. Warren needs some help, finds Nadolny inside, spins it off the glass and in. Well, you remember Clarence had 17 in that game in Lubbock, a career high. Young man from the suburbs of Paris. Feed inside, deflected off the hands of Lightfoot, out of bounds. Texas Tech basketball. John, watch Remy go off what we call the wrong foot right here. He's going to get to the basket, and he shoots it off the of wrong and that throws a shot blocker off. And then Clarence Nadoli, this young man averaged seven minutes a game his first two seasons, waited his turn, kept working, and was all in when Mark Adams was named the head coach at Texas Tech. Tony Padilla, Burt Smith, two officials checked with one another. It's Kansas basketball. Change a call back the other way. Here's Remy Martin. And that quickness advantage, but Santos Silva, the rejection. Wow. We told you he can guard all five positions. He does it regularly. Oh, tough pass. Wilson looking for space. Mark nine, it up. Probing inside to foul the floor. I like that. Remy Martin, you have to get into the teeth of the defense. And that's the third time now Remy's done that. That gives them a lift. I feel like he's been a little more aggressive since coming into the game than we've seen in the past. And I think that as the season goes on, he's perfect as the sixth man, the energizer. Because it's the old story. He's fresh when everybody else is a little fatigued, especially with that speed. Jalen Coleman lands has checked in the Iowa State transfer. Lightfoot couldn't catch the feed. And Shannon has it down the other end. He hoists a three. Abaji the rebound. Here come the Jayhawks. Shannon missed Bacho inside. That one flips up and in. Wow. He's added that to the great three-point shooting. And we saw that tough shot he hit Saturday similarly. Yeah, that floater baseline going at the basket and ended up winning the game. Ocha Abaji, the hero on Saturday in Manhattan. Santo Silva and the lefty gets it to go. The transfer from BCU. Shooter. This guy's made 302 threes, Coleman lands in his career. And he hoists one here. Can't hit Shannon the rebound up ahead. It's Bacho, but Shannon's pass over his head, out of bounds, and a turnover. Kansas ball when we come back. Well, we don't know if he's National Player of the Year yet, but he's certainly trending toward. They go. They both were grad assistants under Larry Brown here at Kansas in the '80s. They're both Hall of Fame coaches. And John, anytime Kansas and Kentucky get together, it's historic. Yeah. And it's game day worthy. The boys will be here. Yes, they will. Look at these hands. Yeah, very active. Kick to the corner. Harris. That floater won't go. McCormick over the back. And a foul on 
David, he got tangled up with okay. Daniel Bacho. I'd like to see this because you're going to get overruled right here, Bert Smith. Yep. Let's take a look right here. Bacho is grabbing his arm. Yeah. So it'll end up going on Bacho number two. And that's uh, teamwork and officiating right there. Got a good crew. Jerry mm. Pollard, Tony Padilla, Bert Smith, good veteran crew. Yep. And Jerry Pollard had a great angle on that from across the court. Feet inside McCormick. Harris wide open. And Bacho rebounds it. Bacho's only a freshman. I love this kid. He's a transfer from Arizona. Didn't play last year because of an injury. 6'11. Monster. Santos Silva looking for some help. Gets it to Bacho and one. Yep. Just a baby. He was recruited by Sean Miller, but a knee injury kept him out all last year. And, uh, John, this kid had 11 rebounds against Tennessee in a win at Madison Square Garden. And he's learning from Santos, Silver, and Williams. Foul on Dewan Harris. That's his second. That's important because he has been Bill Self's security blanket all year. He's a no-mistake guy. Yeah, just super steady. Yep. And in the crucial minutes... He doesn't make mistakes. He certainly doesn't turn it over. And Martin gets shoved down by Davion Warren. This is going to be a, you know, a good test for Remy Martin because he's going to have to play significant minutes right here coming off that knee injury. Yep. And they need him in this spot versus this defense. Yeah, and I don't think the knee is, is 100%. I mean, even just watching him and shoot arounds practices it just doesn't seem again injured it december 29th and he's missed some time and the mccormick and he gets fouled if it's on bacho it's his third and a good post feed that time by remy david mccormick made the defender disappear by getting him on his back and so all Remy had to do is throw it right to the Kansas right there a little higher than that but you get the idea would you say as you watch the number five team in the country that the guy on the foul line might be the key to this season I mean he's certainly an important part I don't think he necessarily has to score but I do think He's got a rebound. That's the, the the big thing for for them, I would say. I would say to add to that, make his presence felt in the paint on both ends. That's a one of Bill Sell's frustrations with him. Is that one day we'll have 15 rebounds, the next day just three. I asked him what changes in those games. He said, if I enter the game knowing, if I do the little things, the little things like defensive rebounding then I'll get applauded but I have to go in with that kind of mindset he's been around this program for four years now and he's a popular member of the team a great team leader great student and at times John as we saw at the end of last season one of the dominant players in this league Color rejects the screen with a Baji on him, and now shot clock winding down. Williams gets inside. Oh, and it couldn't go down for him, and now Kansas the other way up a point. Just lost his balance. Again, not easy to penetrate this defense because they switch at five spots. And they keep the ball in front of them. That floater, it's short, air ball. And McCuller leading the Red Raiders the other way. That's a, that's a foul. See, that's a that's a foul on, on McCormick. And they'll go possession arrow, and it belongs to Texas Tech. Yeah, David was very fortunate there. Two hands. Take a look on the drive now. Watch him displace. Right there, he displaces the, uh, the driver. 
And again, I'm okay with that. If you're going to let it go on both ends, this is going to be a very intense ball game on both ends. But don't talk about freedom of movement to me during the offseason. Foul inside. I think they got right foot with that one. And that's his second. By the way, let me correct that on Daniel Bacho. He's got just one. See the contact inside again. So Lightfoot with two fouls, Harris with two fouls, and getting inside is McCuller. He puts it home. He's the heart and soul of the team when he's healthy. Texas Tech with the lead. Christian Brown been quiet so far. Abaji wide open. Excellent ball movement. Don't do that. If you're going to rotate, fake it, Martin, and get back to the All-American. Let Remy Martin beat you. That's what we call overhelping right there. Take a look. Watch the ball. Great ball movement. You don't need to run at Martin. That's the guy you need to run at. Sometimes, John, you've got to be a smart defender. Bluff at the non-shooter. Although Remy's having a good year, but certainly not like Ochai. Just had a flop warning on O'Banner. That one rattles in and out. And they get a foul on O'Banner. And that'll be... Kevin O'Banner's first. Kansas by a couple. 8.03 to go here. First half. John Chambi, Fran for Schillick, Chris Button inside Allen Fieldhouse. Welcome to Big Monday here. Kansas has moved up to number five in the polls. Texas Tech at 13. John, if you're Texas Tech, the one thing you've accomplished so far, and it could change in any minute, is they have not let Kansas get on one of those patented Allen Fieldhouse runs. Martin inside and a finger roll. We talked about Santos Silver, but Remy Martin has taken advantage of that quick mismatch and gotten to the basket. Remy Martin getting to the paint, creating a little something, something. Ims is starting to hit stride right now. And of course, Tanner Groves, who gave Kansas 35. In the NCAA tournament for Eastern Washington is uh, holding down the fort for new coach Porter Moser at Oklahoma. Yeah, he had 35. His brother had 23, I think, in that game. Got them a scholarship to the Big 12. Kickball there. Texas Tech basketball. 7.39 to go here in the first half. As much as I love this Red Raider team, offense is can be an issue. They do not play with a pure playmaker. And so they labor for passes and points. Perfect example. Brown had it for a second and then wasn't able to corral it. Shot clock winding down. Warren hoists and hits. Tough shot. Good defense by Ochayabaji. But you don't want to make a living on those contested shots all night. Remember, Warren was one of the top 15 scorers in the country last year at Hampton. Brown, that floater wouldn't go. He tracks uh -oh. it down, Abaji a three. Gets it to go, Chai Abaji with his third three of the game, and he's got 11. John, he is automatic this year. And he plays the games uh, emotionally like he, you can't tell whether he's made his last five or missed his last five. Williams inside, hangs, absorbs a contact, and puts it home. It's been a tough handle for Kansas over two and a half games. And you can see why. There it goes 6 8, 240, Bryson Williams. He is a lot to handle. Wilson picks up his dribble and then finds a wide open Martin. Now Brown. And he hits. Christian Brown. You know what you love about that? Remy Martin averaged 14 shots a game last year. This year it's about six and a half. And he made the extra pass to a 
good shooter. Warren couldn't. Oh, there's a block, but a foul. Oh, boy. We'll take a peek. It looked clean up top. Bill That's going to be Lightfoot's third. Yep. Couple great plays right here. Obaji, vertical. And clean up top. And the officials will say, well, he got him with the body down low. That's a call that can go either way, because I didn't think there was a ton of contact. And Bill Self had a couple of words for yeah. Bill Smith. Yeah. It's interesting because Lightfoot's going to pick up his third here, John. And Bill Self in college coaching is in the middle of the pack when it comes to playing guys with two fouls. Takes the calculated risk. Now it doesn't pay off. So Lightfoot will sit. McCormick comes back in. There's a Ken Palm stat. Two foul participation. Sure. And Bill Self's. The 16 percent of the minutes during a season in the first half will there be a player on the court for Kansas with two fouls And again, I think overall it is something like that's an element of analytics that's changed it, it is Coaches are I would say in general less conservative today than they were back in the day It's two fouls in the first half. You're on the bench. I agree I, th I think they are less conservative because you don't want to foul your own guy out Who's a good player in the first half? Lob time. And that one out of bounds and a turnover. That was perfectly executed by Jalen Wilson. He cut behind his defender, and Remy just couldn't connect. The goal for Mark Adams. He told his team, "We're gonna. We just want to stay in this game in the first half." Mark on Warren using the. Santo Silva screen. That clock is at five. Warren with a baji all over. Got to get something off. And that one tipped and eventually ends up in the hands of Remy Martin. A baji now. A baji ball fake jumper good. That's what happens when you run. Tech never got set, and Kansas kept them motion, kept them running the whole possession. Great work of the defensive end by Remy Martin. Exactly what Bill Self needed from him. Dewan Harris with two. And Remy Martin working his way back from knee injury. He's been really good. John, that last possession was a perfect example of how to attack Texas Tech's pressure defense. Side to side, they moved the defense, they moved the help, and they beat him downhill. McCormick, a double team comes. He still puts it up in air. right there they needed that Bryson Williams can pop stop and pop out there Wilson wide open and Banner crashes for the rebound six-point Kansas advantage lob Williams inside puts it home Bryson Williams with the deuce well, he got great hands Terrific hands. Great hands and a wide body. Lot to deal with. And right there, the jumper from Jalen Coleman lands. And in college, seven years. Over 300 threes. That time on mid-range two. Kansas at home and leading number 13, Texas Tech by six. Like your opinion on this. When they dribbled the fast line and got that baseline double, Kansas has done a great job throwing out of that thing and making the extra pass and getting open shots. 
That's right, Seth. You know, when you play this defense, you got to move this defense and use all 50 feet of the half court. McCuller pass gets away from Williams momentarily as he has the freshman K.J. Adams on him. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. Is that a nice move? Goes wow. left-handed right. there. John, last year, Bill Self added a game late against UTEP. And this kid came in. UTEP led most of that game right before the Big 12 tournament. He had 23 and 13. First two years at Fresno State, two years at UTEP, and now at Texas Tech. Martin, double team. And that one is knocked out of bounds. Kansas ball. Now let's go back and look at Bryson Williams. He's the all time leading scorer in the city of Fresno, California. You remember the Pondexter brothers played there, but. He went from Fresno to UTEP and now part of this Texas Tech team. What I love about this Texas Tech team, no, a lot, not that he wasn't, what he was a no name, he's not, he's a really good player. But a lot of these guys, Arms and, and Warren, were guys that were at the low and mid major level. And uh, it's great to see them on this stage competing and being a part of the 13th best team in the country right now. Yeah, they've gotten a chance. They're, they've moved to a, a bigger stage, there's no question. Shot clock winding down. Wilson's shot wouldn't go. Tip, and it's tipped in. Uh, Jalen Wilson has a nose for the ball. Kansas' is best all-around rebounder. Showed you right there why. The color spins inside. Off the glass wouldn't go. Abaji. And now Martin and the Jayhawks on the move. Brown, wide open three. It's a bad miss, but I like that Kansas is running because you don't want to set up against this defense. Good strategy. Don't forget Williams if you're a black jersey. Santo Silva with that air ball. Now a Baji. KJ Adams tips it out of bounds. And it'll be Texas Tech basketball. We got five men's basketball games for you on Saturday on ESPN of the app. It starts with number nine Duke taking on Louisville at noon. And then Auburn, number one for the first time in program history. They host Oklahoma as part of the ninth annual Big 12 SEC Challenge. John, you and I will be in Austin, Texas for the return of Rick Barnes to uh, the 40 acres. Rick went to 16 postseason NCAAs in 17 years. And I'm sure he'll get a very warm welcome. And if they close down the Irwin Center this year, it'll be fun. We'll get the offensive foul on Davion Warren. Take a look. This is good because on Saturday you see an obvious call right there Remy Martin was toasted at times by Nigel Pack who went for 35 in fact nobody could really guard the young guy the brilliant sophomore from Kansas State but that's where he's got to get better and he's giving you a good effort tonight if you're Bill Self under 90 seconds to go each side with six fouls Martin off the glass little strong Remy collects it smart Brown, a little strong. Adams couldn't pull down the rebound. McCuller with the head of steam. Abaji up to Brown. Christian Brown lays it in. Keep running. Keep running if you're Kansas. That's their best offense. Harris, when they get out and run, it's... Uh, it's how Bill Self wants them to play. Harris with two fouls. And if you're Texas Tech right now, John, you have to keep this game within six or eight before you go to that locker room. Malik Wilson into the game. Oh, batter will try. And that's an air ball. He's missed 11 threes in a row. And normally very reliable from deep. Abaji has it taken away. Wilson inside. And the foul on Christian Brown. Number 
first on Brown. Yeah, Malik Wilson, probably the closest thing they have to a point guard. He's been hobbled with injuries, John. But he was terrific in his comeback against Kansas on uh, January 8th. Transfer from the University of Louisiana. The freshman KJ Adams takes the seat. McCormick back in. Kansas will have the final shot, 22.2 seconds. And it's down to six. So the ball in Remy Martin's hands. Good first half. Uh, and Texas Tech goes to a zone. They try to neutralize Bill Self's tricky plays. Almost turned it over. Now Abaji needs some help. Oh, good feed inside McCormick. And it wouldn't go. Well, Kansas at the break, leading this one by six. Ochai Abaji. Mark Adams told me that he thought his team was shell-shocked when they opened the game, dealing with this kind of environment, but he's proud of the way that they battled, show some composure. He said the two things we got to work on is the offensive glass, only two rebounds, and have to be able to finish in the paint. That was the biggest difference in their first meeting, as we noticed, but liking the fight, the composure from his guys. Yeah, eventually they found their footing, and on the idea of being shell-shocked, good block right there. Mark Adams, one of the things he told us pregame is how hard it is to simulate this environment. You could talk about getting ready for it, but it's just hard once the game starts. And there is Bryson Williams with a big three to get him within three. That guy's not worried about simulating the environment. He owns this place. He is really coming on, Bryson Williams. Too easy. The body carries it matches him. You just have to know the scouting report. And that's why he's on pace to be not only an All-American, but a chance to be the National Player of the Year, the Naismith Award winner. Boy, has he improved, John, year by year. It's just great to see. O'Banner puts it up and in. Kevin O'Banner with the bucket. It's really important for, it sounds obvious, but it's really important for Texas Tech to play well in the first four minutes. You cannot give up a big run in this building and expect to have a comeback. Ain't happening. Brown finds Abaji. Abaji gets a piece of the pack. Finds McCormick for the slam. They're getting used to that pressure. One thing I like that Kansas has done today is they really move it side to side and they make Texas Tech chase you in the half court. Shannon inside, rattles it home. Jared Shannon Jr., that's his first bucket, first points of the night. And he's their leading scorer. Well, he missed a lot of time. I know he had 23 on Saturday, but I don't think he'll be in the rhythm for a while. This is only the 10th game that he's played, so he's played now in half of their games. Back trouble has been the main issue. Good job by McCuller. That one was blocked, but it hit underneath. It'll stay with Kansas. Here's what we talked about, John. When you play a team that's going to put five defenders on one side of the floor, you got to make them use all 50, and that swing allows Abaji to get into the paint, draw help up. And by the way, you never help up from the baseline and expose your defense to the lob dunk. No way. Nice. McCormick finds Wilson, had it stripped away. Williams over the smaller Dewan Harris. They went right at the mismatch. They saw it quickly, and McCormick could not get there in time. That's good. Brown, a great look, finds Harris for the deuce. You notice the ball movement that leads to the drive, cuts from the backside, good ball movement. Good basketball. Bryson Williams with 17 to lead Texas Tech. There's Warren at the glass. I think McCormick got open the eye. 
Nice move by Davion Warren. This is the best offense we've seen out of Tech the entire game. They're in the rhythm right now. Watch that defense. You got to skip it to the other side. Five Wilson gets inside. Abaji catches. I'm going to get 19. I'm going to give Texas Tech a little lesson right here. Find Ochai Abaji if you want to have a chance to win this game. against Wilson left hand and good boy is he really really good in that low post he shot that ball left-handed like he is a lefty he wears Kansas out little zone now first time we've seen it today Abaji grabs it puts it up wouldn't go McCormick is fouled Baji wanted a foul call instead of being McCormick to shoot when we come back. Him and his twin brother are on the sporting news. Look at the haircuts there. His dad was in his corner. His dad, also a five time gold glove, was in his corner for his first exhibition. He lost the first round. He goes to the corner and he's like, Dad, why am I losing? He said, I don't know. I can't fight your fights for you. So those kind of lessons that Mark has brought to his team and why he has that group do boxing workouts during the summer. It's great stuff, and it ties in with their just ferocious defensively. They are, they are as hard to score on as anybody in the country. Remember, Kansas has 48 points. There's a lot of basketball left, but Kansas is the number four offensive team in America. Color with Wilson on him gets inside, gets a piece of the paint. That shot contested. Lightfoot rips down a rebound, and they get that. Uh, Marcus Santos Silva. What we've seen out of Kansas tonight is the same kind of fight that Mark Adams talked about with his team because in Lubbock. Jalen Wilson, Mitch Lightfoot, Bill Self said we were outworked. Kansas only had 18 paint points in that whole game. They've already got 22 tonight. First foul on Santos Silva. Lightfoot going to work on Williams. Flips it up. Mitch has been reliable. He makes over 50% of those. Terrific over that left shoulder. He's got four points in this one. T.J. Shannon's been quiet. Santos Silva. And the deuce for the burly lefty. Harris turns the corner. Rejected, though. Malik Wilson on him and swatted it away. Tech back the other way. Santos Silva will go to the line. All right, a reminder, the ninth annual Big 12 SEC Challenge continues Saturday. Games on ESPN of the app. They got number four Baylor squaring off against Alabama. That's a four Eastern. And then Kentucky and Kansas, number 12 and number five. And we capped the day with number 18, Tennessee, taking on Texas at the Irwin Center. Last foul on Mitch Lightfoot, that is fourth. So McCormick will check back in and Mitch will grab a seat. Santos Silver played three years at BCU. For Mike Rhodes, had some really, really quality production. And he took advantage, John, not only of last year's senior year, but this super senior year for Mark Adams. Bacho almost tipped it in. Out of bounds. Texas Tech ball. Good work. By Daniel Bacho, the freshman from France. Biggest guy on the floor. He did his job. He's going to take a seat. Watch him work right here as David McCorvick is the last to touch. Shannon, too strong. Harris collects. 
Jay Shannon's been super quiet this time. Abaji spins. Couldn't hit. Rebound McCormick. Kick out. Baseline jumper. Wilson rattles it in. What you saw right there was an extra possession because David McCormick is by offensive rebounding rate number one in the country. One out of every five misses, he is the recipient of a rebound and Kansas the recipient of a basket. And remember, kids, we always like rate stats instead of counting stats. Let's go back and watch. Bill Self says the reason he's a better offensive rebounder is because he thinks he's going to score. But watch the ball movement off the offensive rebound. It scrambles the defense. And David McCormick started that whole play with his effort. Fallon O'Banner, his second. Kansas leading this one by six. John Chomby, Fran Fraschilla, Chris Budden, Allen Fieldhouse, Lawrence, Kansas. John, you know, we haven't, we mentioned it early, but I love the way Mark Adams uses his whole team. He's got 10 guys that play 12 minutes or more, and they just come in and out like it's a Grand yeah. Central Station. Hockey line change. Yeah. Jerry Pollard just sent They're not gonna let her back. Yes. Ball was already about to be in play. <laughs> McCormick just beyond the free throw line. Santo Silva the rebound. Wilson pushes ahead. Shannon puts it on the floor off the glass wouldn't go, but he'll shoot two. It'll be on Brown. That's his second. They're going to keep that one on the floor, so they'll inbound it. Okay. But the uh, aggressiveness of Shannon is so well noted. I mean, Mark will check back in. Would go. Wilson pulls down another rebound. Jalen Wilson with nine rebounds in the game. Nice. Martin finds McCormick and a foul on Bacho. Good job by Remy Martin. That's how you destroy the pick and roll right there. Two defenders on him. Watch them both stay, which is not good because that means if you don't help from the backside and Bacho is late, all he's going to do is make David McCormick earn him. David McCormick at the line. Shoot him. Tanded five for McCormick coming off at 11 and 15 in 26 minutes. In the win in Manhattan last Saturday. It's a young man that played at Oak Hill Academy for the great Steve Smith and produced Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant, so many others. He lost 40 pounds while at Oak Hill. Turned himself into a pretty good athlete for a guy his size. One out of two, tipped down the bounds. Bill Self is hot, so is Jalen Wilson. I love what Jerry Pollard did. He walked right over to Bill and said, tell me what you think. And now Bill Self's going to be a little more upset that these fans saw the replay. Looked like it was off tech. Seven-point game, closing on 13 to go. Kansas largest lead nine. Williams knocks it down. Grayson Williams has 21. That's good defense too. David McCormick pushed them off the block. And Tech just stays hanging around. Hanging around, hanging around. Martin off the mark. And Adonis Arms and the Red Raiders down by five. Arms flips it in. I love that kid's story. Mesa Community College, Northwest Nazarene in Idaho, D2. 
Bo Major with Winthrop, and now in the Big 12. Nice. Wow. Tips it up and in. And one. Well, the junior from Burlington, Kansas, is a crowd favorite because he is a feisty, tough, hard-nosed guy. Really popular in this building and not so much in nine other places in the league. But exactly the guy you want on your team if you're Bill Self. David McCormick will grab a seat. He's been in the top three in block shots in the Big 12 for most of the year. Leads the team in that department. He's tough, man. He is... Uh, He'll let you know, too, Yeah, we saw up in Norman when he hit that three. Williams on the freshman, Adams, and puts it home. He's unguardable right now. I think that's your ticket. Three-point game, John. It feels like Kansas is up more. Martin to Brown. And had it blocked out of bounds. Timeout on the court. Kansas leads by three. Timeout on the floor. Texas did it last year, and then Oklahoma State back in 17 18. So under Bill Self, it's happened twice. Crazy. 19 years. That's a lot of series. Abaji fade away. Got it. Out of the timeout. Abaji was the guy that set the screen at the basket, and he was the guy that ended up open. Good lesson, junior high guys. Screener gets open if it's a good screen. Bryson Williams has been dominant at the offensive end for Texas Tech. Warren needs some help. Shot clock under 10. Williams with Abaji on him. McCullough. Voice. And Martin rebounds it. Kansas by five. Nice pass. Great look. Adams. And, and the freshman will go to the line. This is why Remy Martin came to Kansas to be a part of a winning program. Watch the way he slows down and waits for the right man to find himself. And the freshman Adams finishes at the rim in traffic. Remy Martin was a guy driving a Maserati in city traffic. He slowed down, looked both ways, had the green light, dumped it off for the basket. And you better foul K.J. Adams and really make him feel it, because this guy, I think every day is leg day for K.J. Adams. He is, uh, he's one of those Quadzilla guys. I mean, just legs all day. And super strong. Big stretch now, down seven. They can't let Kansas get away, the Red Raiders. This is Shannon with Wilson on it. Shannon gets inside, and that one rebounded by Adams. How about the freshman making an impact? Yep. Young man out of Westlake High School in Austin, school that produced Brock Cunningham and Matthew Meyer, you see right there, tough rebound by K.J. Good job by Kansas to force Shannon to his right hand, not his strength. He had no way to finish that. You're making me jealous, John. Oh, goodness gracious. Tree, tree trunks. Yeah. That one. During that last time out, Mark Adams challenging his team. You have to make a defensive play. If we can do that, we can control the game. We can take charge. Instead, we're allowing them to dictate how this game is going. And, and you know what's interesting? Chris said charge. Remember how many charges Texas Tech took in Lubbock? I can't remember one tonight. Can't hit. 
kick out Brown up ahead and he's fouled and they get it on McCuller. Good look ahead again by Remy. Brown and Abaji, they get out quick in transition. We told you they had to run on this half court defense. They've done a good job of that tonight. But it's really been the catalyst has been Remy Martin tonight. Played with a lot of energy. I feel like we've seen him at times be a little more passive and he has really asserted himself looking to create something whether it's with the dribble or the pass I think early in the year John he was actually too unselfish he was almost overpassing remember he took 14 shots a game at Arizona State but the way he's played tonight getting into the lane driving pushing in transition this is a great boost for this Kansas team I think he's gonna end up being a great sixth man if that's the way Bill Self goes largest lead of the game at 11. And a foul on Jalen Wilson. All right, how about a triple header tomorrow night? Super Tuesday, and we have it for you on ESPN of the app. It starts number 10, Michigan State, and number 24, Illinois, and then Mississippi State and Kentucky. Finishes it up. Arizona and UCLA. That's a good matchup. Three against seven at 11 Eastern. Auburn is number one in the country today. Congrats to them. But I'll tell you, this Arizona team, they're for real. They are a national title contender. Warren had a chance at the dunk, couldn't do it, but got the miss and put it back in. Of fouls, they get Brown with that one. Well, Brown did that in Lubbock, and again, when you get to the basket against this team, they will step in and take the charge. Third foul on Christian Brown. 9:30 to go, and it's Kansas by nine. But for Texas Tech to come back in this game. I mean, they're going to need to come up with some offense, but they're going to need to get stops as well. Turnover there. And, and I think, John, it's really their offense. I mentioned earlier, they play without a point guard. And they can beat most teams in the country with just their defense and their intensity. But in this building against this offense tonight, that's a lot harder to ask them to do. It's only the Red Raiders' sixth turnover of the game. Pretty clean in that department. Both sides. Abaji walks it over and buries it. Wow. Ochai Abaji with 24. We're talking National Player of the Year candidate. We're seeing it tonight against a great defense. Watch him run. That one off the mark. He wanted, he was working on that shot in uh, practice. And O'Banner puts it in. He got down to court ahead of the pack. And they get the easy deuce. The lead is 10, 8, 26 to go. Kansas on top here. At best in regards to the throat healing up and also in his battle against cancer so he's not going to call a game for the rest of the college basketball season we love you pal and we know you're watching of course he's watching and i think of two games that come to mind when i think of dick in this building buddy heels 46 mm -hmm. triple overtime that dick called and then the great uh, nick collison game in here where where uh, Dick at the end of that game gave Nick Collison his own standing ovation. And I know Dick's got even more memories in this building as he does around college basketball. And uh, we, we hope to see you, Dick, next season, if not sooner. And that uh, Dickie V. Gala is uh, early May. Get on that website and donate to the V Foundation.
Kansas with two losses this year, one at Texas Tech that you and I got a chance to call. The other loss, I was with Dick Vitale down in Orlando. They lost at the buzzer. Mustafa Amseel hit the jumper for Dayton. Yeah, they pulled the upset against Kansas. As I recall, Dick was in rare form on, yeah, he was. on that final play. And he was great. Maybe on Warren. Gives off Malik Wilson. Gets inside. Can't hit. Wilson the rebound. I love when they run with Wilson with the ball. Jalen Wilson, that is. First time tonight you see the two point guards. Bill Self's really comfortable with Martin and Harris out there. Co-pilots. Shot clock at nine. O'Banner on Mark inside, and the shot is blocked. O'Banner does such a good job getting back to close out. It's hard for Remy to score on that. Let's see if Price and Williams can go to work. That's a foul. See, that first one was a reach. Doesn't matter anyway. Williams with two more. He's got 25. In 11 months or less, this guy's had three 20-plus games against Kansas. He's really hard to stop. Oh, man. He's not Michael Beasley, but uh, a reasonable facsimile. Harris, that shot short. Red Raiders down 10. And an offensive foul. Out of control. Remy Martin getting the little things done tonight. Kansas at home. And any of your Halloween costumes and masks. Really hope that's a new plunger. I assume he went to Home Depot. Abaji to inbound. This is the beauty of having two point guards right now. Chai Abaji with six three pointers matches the season high. There's a lot. Oh, boy. He drops out of the rafters. Chaya Baji with 26. Banner cleans it up and puts it in. Ten's not insurmountable, but they're going to have to score a little easier than they're doing the Red Raiders. Bill Self does it again, by the way, out of a timeout. He's like a magician. It's pretty incredible. Every time against Texas Tech, they go to a timeout. They have somebody on the sideline that just stands there. Take away. Oh, and Ryan had it knocked away. Good job. John, watch this. We've been talking about Texas help defense all night. You're going to see a lot of jerseys on one side of the floor, but they fall asleep on Ochai out of that back corner. And my man Malik has no chance. Malik stopped at the eighth floor, and Ochai went up to the penthouse, or at least the fitness center. It's not like every team isn't aware that in timeout situations that they like to, to run stuff like that. They actually, Texas Tech has one of their managers stand there with a grease board during the entire timeout, every timeout. And the only thing that the board says is lobs back doors. Yes. Like and, be alert. And there it is. And do you remember what Mark Adams did in Lubbock? He went to the 3-2 zone at a timeout. But that play they ran right there, that lob out of the backside corner, you can run that versus manner zone. It's actually more of a zone play. Chai Abaji with 26, season high is 29. He's done that twice, including this past Saturday against K-State. Oh. oh, they're looking to screen the weak side. Shot clock winding down, Martin. Got to get something off here. 
knocked out of bounds. And one on the shot clock. John Ochoa tested the NBA waters after last year. Some of the feedback that he got was that they wanted him to be more assertive. I talked to him about what he learned going through those evaluations. He said, listen, no one's been through what I've been through coming here and ha having to hear what I heard that I wasn't ready. No one wants to hear that you're not ready for the NBA. But I don't play with a chip on my shoulder. It was nice to know there's a path. Here's what I need to do. And if I do those things, then next year I'm going to be in the league. And you see those things have played out this season. I think what's impressive about impressive about Ochai, John, is the confidence with which he plays. He plays like he is one of the best five players in the country. And when you think of National Player of the Year right now, we're talking Johnny Davis at Wisconsin. We're talking Kofi Coburn. We're talking Drew Timmy. And we're certainly talking about this guy. There's some others. But Ochai Abaji is in that conversation for National Player of the Year. He's in the best league in the country. He's going to end up being the uh, Player of the Year in the league. And I think to Chris's point, he's certainly shown to be more assertive at the yeah. offensive end. Shot clock under 10, Nadolny. That's a terrible possession. Yep, that was a wasted opportunity to cut this lead to six. Great defense by Kansas. John, I was talking to Brady Morningstar today, who was a tremendous player here, now on the staff as a video coordinator. And the thing he told me about Ochai is you can never tell whether he's made his last five or missed his last five. He plays with a cool, calm, collected attitude. I think one of the other things, and this is just anecdotal, Fred, but you, know, you talk about uncontested shots, semi-contested shots, yep. and then contested shots. He's made a lot of semi-contested and contested shots this year, eyeballing it up. Absolutely. Oh. Boy, Shannon has had a tough night. Big time. Wilson kicks out. Williams. McCullough. And a foul on the floor. They get a bodge. Ochai first. 409 to go in this one. It's an eight-point game. Texas Tech still hanging around. Remember what Mark Adams told us in Lubbock. If we can get to 70, we have a chance and hold Kansas under 70. And that number works tonight. Kansas already at 70 and Tech laboring to get there. Not thrilled with the fact that Mark Adams keeps the revolving door happening with the substitutions. It's challenging for the officials as well. They're a basket away from closing this gap yes. where it's a problem for Kansas. O'Banner. And O'Banner will go to the line and get an opportunity to pick up two points with the clock stop. Fallon Jalen Wilson, his second. Take a look at this is the transfer from ORU. And if you remember the NCAA tournament last year, ORU got all the way to the Sweet 16. And this guy dropped 30 on Ohio State and 28 on Florida. He's got 8.7 rebounds. Here's what I hope happens, John. If Tech, Tech's got a, they, they've got a road, they've got an up, uphill road here with, in this place. But don't drop them in the polls when they go to Kansas and play number five and lose in what looks to be a close game. Because what's happening in the in the in uh, college basketball right now with this league is their numbers are rising in the Ken Palm analytical rankings. But teams in the Big 12 are falling out of the AP Top 25 because they're cannibal cannibalizing themselves. This team can guard any team in America. McCormick, and that one blocked by Santos Silva. The 6-0 Texas Tech run has turned this into a six-point game. David McCormick will shoot two. Shoot two. 
11 points, five boards for David, making a dozen. Chaya Baji with 26 to lead Kansas. And he's done it inside and outside. Second time in his career, he's gone for six threes against the same opponent. He did that in Lubbock. Certainly be interested in finding Bryson Williams if I was a Red Raiders. Here he is. I would agree, and that's a tough pass. Harris the other way. Kick up ahead. Abaji couldn't finish. And then Jalen Wilson tried to save, and that one thrown out of bounds. It ends up being a turnover. 319 to go. A good hustle right here. Watch some challenge. I think that was uh, Bryson Williams and then Jalen Wilson just making a hustle play. You got to have a hurry up offense right now. You can't spend 30 seconds every time if you're Texas Tech. Look at that help. Look at the white shirts. The color. Oh, great work by O'Banner. And he'll shoot two. He just. Out muscle David McCormick. And McCormick picks up the foul as first. This is two tough, hard nosed guys right there. And we mentioned O'Banner, how prolific he was at ORU, and now here as a part of this good Texas Tech team. I don't know that I described that properly. It didn't really out muscle McCormick. Just ended up finding his battle into his hands, but. He battled, he battled him. I think he battled him. He might not have out-muscled him, but he he muscled with him. Yeah, no doubt. Mitch is going to come back. Mitch Lightfoot with four to give David a blow. I'll tell you what, both these teams on a neutral court, John, they would give anybody a difficult game. Right? Shannon pulls down a big rebound. Warren got it. I'm telling you, you just said it. Timeout, Kansas. It's a four point game. This team can guard anybody in America. Well, maybe we'll end up getting a, a finish like they had at Arrowhead down the road. Woo. I don't think we'll have that many points in two minutes. Oh my gosh. As good a football game as you will ever see. A Baji. From the elbow. Puts it in. Oh, that's Ochai Abaji when they need it. He knocks it down. I'm going to say this. It's hard to be a go-to guy. It's hard to be a guy that always wants the big shot. And you have to be special. He is. Right out of a timeout. Well, Banner inside gets the bucket. Texas Tech just needs to be solid. It's a two-possession game with 120 seconds, and Kansas has to execute. And I'd make someone else beat me besides the guy that's likely to be a first-team All-American. And they are. They're face-guarding Abaji right now. That's yeah, Shannon, who's all over him. Now Wilson, shot clock under 10, high off the glass. Loose ball. And Warren comes away with it. Biggest possession of the game for the Red Raiders. O'Banner absorbs the contact. There has puts to it in. How's there no foul? How is that a no foul? Seriously, now. Come on, now. If you're Mark Adams, you got to tell these guys we're taking it to stick with Abaji. If I'm Shannon, I don't leave him under any circumstance. Man to man. Shannon on Abaji. Harris probing gets it to Brown. It's four on four right now. Shot clock at 10. Brown hesitates. Harris into the paint. Off the glass. In and out. Lightfoot. Texas Tech has it. Here comes McCuller. Up ahead to Shannon. 
And a foul on Kansas and Shannon will go to the line with a chance to tie it. And you saw what happened on that possession. Mark Adams took Abaji out of the play and he forced Kansas to play four on four. And there's the run out and a chance to tie this game. Coming into tonight, Shannon is 85% from the line. His first free throws of the game. What a run to close it for Texas Tech. Oh, that's big. Yep. Remember, he has not shot a fresher free throw in quite a while because of the injury. Missed the chunk of time with back issues. Six straight at one point. Gets the second one-point game. Timeout Kansas, 47.7 to go in this one. Things have gotten tight in Lawrence. It just comes up with here. Because more than likely, Shannon is going to be draped all over Ochai Abaji. 47.7 in the game clock. Harris with McCuller on him. One point game. And they get it to Abaji. And a foul on Shannon. Okay. They reached. Little body. So now on the other end, if there's a little body, you got to kind of reward the same drive. But Ochai is going to still, this is still going to be a, a one possession game, even if he makes both. Now, sometimes I think like a coach, John. And right now, I'm coaching on the road in the hardest place in America to, to win. Fran, I'm familiar with your work. Yeah. This is the first. 72% is what Abaji is on the season from the free throw line. Isn't it interesting how great a three point shooter he is? Only 72 from the line. Here's the second. Gets it. Ties his season high with 29. And here we go. Freshman's on Williams. Let's watch. McCuller looking for space. Spinning. Puts it up. Wouldn't go. And Abaji stepped on the baseline. Tech has one timeout left. And one chance to tie it right now. Does he... Does he? Rice and Williams can also shoot the three ball. And do you take a chance on shooting a three knowing that we're just going to go for the win and roll the dice? Be very interesting to see what Kansas gives up. They have the freshman Adams on Bryce and Williams. The ball in Shannon's hands. Goes at the basket. No basket. It's on the floor. That'll be on Jalen Wilson. Now watch how they, they, they push him to his right hand. And Shannon just bulldozes his way to the basket. That foul is out front, so it's not a shooting foul. But they are in the bonus. So two for Terrence Shannon Jr. two. Point eight seconds to go. Last tie in this game at 14 apiece. The 9.58 mark in the first half. Bill Self's got a timeout. If they tie it, I don't think he'll use it. I think they'll just run down the floor and look for the best shot. Tied up. Malik 
Wilson checks back in. He still may take a timeout, John. Let's see. I think he's going to race it up and call timeout. And he does. And he saved all those seconds. Yep. 11.5 to go. Bill Self will draw it up. Fran Fraschilla, what are you expecting? I, I... Got to get good veteran crew. And Jerry Pollard, Tony Padilla, Bert Smith. Our officials. Abaji to inbound tied at 75. Gets it to Harris, and here we go. Six, five, Harris finds Abaji. Abaji got to get it off for the win. And we're headed to overtime. Wow. Daniel Bacho, the 6'11 freshman, switched on Abaji, gave him a cushion, and... Texas Tech beat Tennessee on December 7th in overtime. Bacho and McCormick to jump. OT from Allen Fieldhouse. Bacho wins the tip. McCuller has it. Red Raiders basketball. McCuller. Bacho's going to try it. Knocked out of bounds. McCuller protesting with Padilla. And Padilla saying, nope. And let's watch, John. Remember, in overtime, it reverts back to, oh, that's close, man. I think that goes off round. I think it did, too. And here's the deal. You can't review that until the final two minutes of overtime. A tough call. Hard. Wilson, ball fake, off the glass and good. A quick stop, he spun around and put it in. I think if you're Tech, you got to move the ball a little more. A lot of dribbling against this defense. Williams off the glass and one. He well, it starts with Wilson at the other end. He just bulldozes his way to the basket. Take a look right here. He's going to get by McCullough. Little contact. And on the other end, Bryson Williams. Watch this finish right here with the offhand. He's been a Kansas killer. There's nothing else you can say. They have no answer for him. Fourth foul on Jalen Wilson. And Texas Tech has the lead. First lead since the 10-15 mark of the first half. Brown wide open. Missed that by a lot. Wow. Remember, you can't forget Bryson Williams has been unstoppable. And they're still looking to get it to his side. And they're calling, he's calling for it. He's got Brown on him. Williams gets it to go. I'm no genius, but I know where I'm throwing the ball the next 324. You're not kidding. Texas Tech by three. Largest lead for the Red Raiders. They have Brown to inbound. Gets it to Dewan Harris. As Kansas looking for some offense here. Shannon guarding Abaji. Still face guarding him. Inside to Wilson and it's blocked by O'Banner. They spread the floor. They went slip screen and O'Banner recovered. Wow. I still go I still go to Williams if I can throw it to him a take away Kansas back the other way
Harris flips it up, wouldn't go. Brown picks it up. Now Abaji at the basket. And multiple players down. And I, I think that was a restricted arc foul right there. Who's that? McCullough in the lane? Yep. Wants the drive now. Here comes McCullough looking to take the charge. I don't think he was set anyway. Ochai Abaji will shoot two. To believe. Big miss. Yeah, it's hard to believe that a guy with his greatest shooting stroke on the move would only be able to shoot over 70% from the line. Gets the second, 30. A career high for Ochai Apache. Two-point game. O'Banner got it. He missed his last 11 threes, and he couldn't buy a bucket today in the shooting drills. Five-point game. McCormick gets it to Brown inside. Spins it off the glass and in. The two bigs up top, and O'Banner can stretch. So can Williams from three. Kansas needs to stop. 90 seconds to go. Got to play through. Warren's got to dribble it to the side in order to create an angle. Warren. McCormick. Count it. This ball looked like it was going to be short. Let's take a look. I watched it like you, and I wasn't sure. But it would have been worse for Texas Tech had they lost possession of that ball. Sure. So five-point game, 121 to go. And Kansas needs some offense. There's the switches. Abaji. Okay. Let's review that one. That's what Mark Adams is saying. I think you, I think you got to review that too. By rule, okay? Here's the drive. Great downhill drive. There it is. Now remember, before the ball hits the backboard, it has to be on its downward flight. And I think it does come down. I do think this one is clearly on the way down. I think. Here, watch this, John. I will say this. I, I was with officials this fall, and some of the camera angles they told me, especially behind the backboard, can be deceiving. So they have to have a great look at this. You be the judge at home. So score it, 109 to go. Listen, Kansas, by the way, does not have a timeout left. Texas Tech has two. I'll just tell you the rule, but I don't know how it's going to go either way, man. This is fun. Yeah, this has been as advertised. Lots of energy in this building. And what a great credit to Mark Adams' team coming into this spot down as many as a dozen into the second half. One minute, one minute remaining. Can't get it to, they tried to get it to Williams. Warren, a pull-up. Brown rebounds. 
down three. They could go either way with this. Doesn't have to be a three here, though, right? Nope. Not if he drives it. And Abaji got tripped, and then they get a foul inside. Wow. Let's watch. If he trips him, it's, if he's thinking we'll have a plan, but the first key for Kansas is to make the free throw. Abaji just two of four from the line. Continues to add to his career high. He's got 33 now. And this is the second. Who do you foul? That's the question. McCullough 70 percent. Jalen Coleman lands will check in. Good three-point shooter. Bacho in for defense as well, and he made a big play at the end of regulation. Remember, Tech will switch everything. All, all come together as they'll switch. And off of Baji, Coleman lands. Now Wilson. Somebody got to do something here. Abaji at three for top. <laughs> Shannon off the mark. And we're going to double overtime. Ochai Abaji have a night. 36 is three, ties it up. It's going to be a great environment, man. Tell you, regardless of the outcome, wow, this has been everything and more. Adams and Bacho to jump. Bacho wins it. And a fight for the loose ball. McCuller comes away with it. Texas Tech has it at the start of our second overtime. I love Tied the, at 86. I love the idea that Bacho has gotten the last two tips to start the overtimes. Extra possession. Malik Williams, Zadwan Harris off the glass and good. Big shot. Malik Wilson with the bucket, I beg your pardon. Christian Brown will go to the line. Good head fake right there by Brown. Got the freshman in the air. So four on Bacho. Impressive at the other end by Malik Wilson. Just very steady backing down on Harris to get yep. the first two in the second overtime. Use Brown. That, yeah, use that window. Nicely. Brown. Out of bounds. 
Jones, and it's off Texas Tech. It'll be Kansas basketball. It's a good effort by the freshman who's getting quality minutes. Watch them battle right here. This has been tough tonight to make that call. That one looks like it's off 13, and the freshman with energy. I love his energy, John. Luke Wilson frustrated there. Abaji. And they get a foul on the color. Bill Self tried to sneak Abaji in that elevator play that we saw them beat Oklahoma with. Texas Tech smelled it out, but then fouled. This kid, on McCuller, his third. this kid's got 36, John. Five rebounds. He's already, woo, man. He's already a first team All American. Now the question is, is he's going to be the player of the year. He yes. struggled from the line here tonight, just three for seven from the free throw stripe. Gets that one, and Kansas has the lead. Well, to your point, he's a 70% foul shooter. Not an 85% like you'd expect from a guy that good a shooter. Wilson with Harris on it. And he banked it in! Oh Grayson my. Williams! I told you he had range. Texas Tech leads it by two. Brown off the glass. That wouldn't go. Loose ball. It belongs to Texas Tech. Bryson Williams with 33 points. I'd love to see them get Bryson Williams on the block. But in order to do that, you've got to feed him from the sideline and not the top of the key. It's a bad angle. Shannon, step back. And Apache with a well-earned rebound. Kansas down by two. We close in on two minutes to go in our second overtime. Brown having to fend off Wilson. Jalen Wilson now, double team. Shot clock is at five. Jumper. Comes the rebound. Harris, left hand. Wings with the putback. KJ Adams flying in, and we're tied at 91. Timeout, Texas Tech. 139 to go, tied at 91. Magical, magical night. They've got weapons out there. For, and I, I'm, I'm partial to Bryson Williams because in two seasons, they know how to play Shannon. They have his number. Last year, he had a buzzer beater in Lubbock. Didn't go. I like, I like Bryson Williams or O'Banner. Shannon has the ball in his hands. The freshman Adams is on him. Shannon looking for some help. O'Banner from way downtown. Abaji tracks it down. Kansas basketball tied at 91 of the second overtime. Wilson has an opening, and he gets fouled. Jalen Wilson will go to the line. And he will shoot two. Tech did not get their defense set. Bryson Williams was running it at the Obaji. The, the other four defenders were not sure of who they were guarding. You see right there, you know that because there's usually great help on that baseline. Jalen Wilson, two for two from the line in this one, but just 58% coming in. Texas Tech, you got to keep an eye on KJ Adams right now on this free throw line. He's the only guy in there. 
Gets the second, Kansas leads. What a battle this has been. One minute, one minute remaining. They can't throw it to Williams unless they get the ball to the sideline, right? Right there. Adams battling with Bryson Williams. Shot clock at nine. McCuller inside, lost the handle, loose ball. Harris. Kansas has it. Don't have to foul if you're Texas Tech. Kansas should use a lot of time. Deflected out of bounds. And what was the call? Tony Padilla and Bert Smith will be Kansas basketball. Right. You have to make a call in order to go to the monitor. And if I were Mark Adams right now, I think this ball was clearly tipped off Texas Tech. Daniel Bacho's going to check in. You see Wilson looks like he knocked it out. Malik Wilson did get a piece of that. If I'm Texas Tech and I get a stop, I don't call timeout. I push it. A one-point Kansas advantage. Where do they go? Downhill for Wilson. No call. Loose ball. Brown tracks it down. You know, if K.J. Adams got a piece of this ball, they ought to give him the game ball tonight. Let's watch the miss. And he does tip it back out. I don't even know if he'll get a rebound, but that's a big play. Yeah, got that left hand on it. Unbelievable. It's a point, Frank. Yep. Gets the first. Now, Bill Self has gone both ways with this situation. Remember, he fouled at Oklahoma up three. Jim Brown tonight, an ode to Dickie V. He's been a stat sheet stuffer. 14.7 rebounds, six assists, five for six from the free throw line. This is a biggie. Makes it a three point game. Let's watch. What do they do? Shannon, a three to tie. And that'll do it. Kansas escapes in double overtime. 94-91.